So, your favorite movie is Joker. What does this say about you? And why is it your favorite movie or one of your favorite movies? You're most likely depressed. Well, just a little, but something's missing in life. Is it a girlfriend? Is it better friends? Is it more money? Is it a bigger purpose in life? Or maybe it's quitting that addiction that you've had for a long time, but it's been so ingrained in your normal routine that stopping just seems weird. Waking up every day, the world can be pretty bleak sometimes. Mainstream society is just so... Like, are Marvel movies really still making millions of dollars? For what reason? There's a lot of existential questions weighing you down and sometimes it gets debilitating. But hey, I've been there too before, man. I get you. But out of all of this, at least you're self-aware. At least enough to be self-deprecating. Well, let's talk about the traits of the movie and why you actually like it so much. To start, the protagonist is an anti-hero. The main character doesn't really have positive traits, at least traditionally positive traits, but he's relatable on a more complex, emotional and mental level. The movie shows a complex breakdown of emotions and mental health. The movie explores a darker side of the human psyche and that's really really interesting to you. And you can't help but love the cinematography. It's shot really really well. The vibes this movie captures are perfect for the themes. Not to mention, the characters are amazing, the pacing is really good, the colors are great, and there's amazing quotable lines. And let's be honest, the exclusivity of watching these films makes you feel a little more different than other people. And it's actually great because the increase of these types of shows all across mainstream media. Invincible with Omni-Man, Homelander with The Boys, and you also have, I guess, an older character, but Walter White, he falls into this category too. Man, all of these characters are just wonderful. You know, you've probably also heard that people who enjoy dark humor are actually smarter and have a higher IQ. And that's because they're able to hold back their emotions better. They're able to understand jokes without being offended too much. And a lot of these movies have that twisted sense of humor that shouldn't be funny for normal people, but you get it and they bring you in on the joke. The movie also got lower than usual ratings by critics because the people who control the narrative don't want you to be radicalized, but you're definitely smart enough to understand that that's not really gonna happen. No sane person is gonna cite a movie as the source for their rebellion or revolution or whatever it is. You like this movie a lot because you think men seem to be ostracized in society these days. There's all this talk about equality and equity but what that means isn't necessarily bring everyone else up, but bring those who have been traditionally in power down. Because of this, you want to join some club, activity, or high energy sport that helps you maintain your testosterone levels. You need something that helps you facilitate your masculine urges. And at the end of the day, even if these people don't necessarily share the same values or interests as you, other people or NPCs can just be tools to help you achieve your goals. You also notice a lot of censorship in the world and you see right past it. Look at all of the consumerism, the disproportionate distribution of wealth, the famine, the mistreatment of people with mental health issues, all of this nonsense in society. There's a lot wrong with society. And at one point you wanted to help, but you realized you couldn't do it alone. So what you focus on instead is making the most of your life, anything to contribute to making life a little more worthwhile. You think you're the main character of your life, or maybe you want to become the main character of your life by starting some big movement or accumulating a lot of wealth, or maybe it's using your unique mind to orchestrate some positive outcome for yourself. You sometimes feel like you've been dealt a wrong hand. If you had even a fraction of the luck that someone like Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk has, you could thrive and succeed in any capacity and even support the people you care about. Now the people you care about don't necessarily have to be your family. And that's because you grew up in a stable but slightly traumatic household and though you try to maintain a normal surface level relationship with them, you feel like you could never trust them with everything. And deep down, you know you could choose your own family instead. But however, you are completely yourself when you're given the freedoms 
to live on your own and make your own choices. You can choose your own friends and you can choose your own lifestyle. And sometimes you're acutely aware of the negative side effects of your everyday life, like your online chronic addiction. But what's a little bit of self-destruction amongst all of the self-improvement? And plus, everyone is connected on the internet today. It'd be really impossible to live a technology-less life. But I mean, you see past it. Online, all of these positivity people, all of these yoga gurus, all of these influencers, they're all full of BS. They're probably like you, choosing to hide behind a facade of everything is good, but in reality, they understand the cynical circumstances of the world. Or they could just be naive enough and really believe that the world is that positive and optimistic. You also sometimes wonder how real this movie could be. Would an event like this actually unfold exactly the same way the writers wrote? Or are there too many potholes to keep everything relatively in check? Or maybe the chaos of the world is just too hard to predict and anything is possible. You might be wondering what if something like this is happening right now and you're not a part of it? I've thought about these exclusive settings a lot. Do they really even exist? Most of all, the movie just speaks to you. The nuances of the script, the spectacular soundtrack that's so chilling, the subtleties the actors and camera work portray help you really, really highlight the artistic vision. You wish there was more, and there are a lot of films like this if you haven't seen them all already. Just remember, you're unique and no one else is like you. Your mind is special, and these electric pulses between axons in your brain cells in a universe made up of mostly empty space didn't organize itself to be this way coincidentally. Let me know your thoughts about this movie. Did you love or did you hate this movie? If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.